Now in today's lecture, I'm going to solve a question from integration. Now before I start solving this question, I would like to say few things. Now the student, those who are appearing for tomorrow's ITJ exam, all the best. And at all cost, whatever happens in exam, please maintain your calm. Please maintain your inner peace, whatever happens. Back in the mind, I think you know, all of you know that how many questions, how many hours you have spent solving the question. So have some confidence. If you're not able to solve first question, second question, it's totally fine. Go to the third question, pick easy questions first, then tough questions later on. Okay. And all the best again. Let's continue with the question. So the question is f, f of x is a quadratic function such that f of zero is given as one initial condition is given. Now it is given that integration of f of x divided by x square into x plus one whole cube. This integration is given as a rational function. Now we have to find f dash of zero here. So let's start with this only. Let's analyze this first f of x upon x square into x plus one whole cube. So I think here the numerator degree is two because it's a quadratic function and denominator I think the degree is five. So I think I can here I can apply partial fraction. So I can write this as a upon x plus b upon x square plus c upon x plus 1 plus d upon x plus 1 whole square plus e upon I can write this as x plus 1 whole cube here. Now if you analyze one thing here that is if I the moment I integrate this on both sides I think integration of a by x a is a constant which will come outside and 1 by x integration will give you ln of x. So is this possible? This is not possible because it is given that the integration is a rational function. So it is not possible here. That means this term has to be zero. So in order to get this term zero, I think the value of a should be equal to zero here. Similarly, I think I can integrate this. So at the moment I integrate this, I'll get this as minus one by x that is allowed. So this term is fine. The third term, if I integrate this c upon x plus one, I think the moment I integrate this c will come outside and we'll get this as ln of mod of x plus 1. And again, this is not a rational function. So this term has to be 0. That means capital C will be equal to 0 here. And the fourth term and fifth term are allowed because integration will be a rational function. Now let's move on to f of x. So if I take the moment I take the LCM on the left hand side and right hand side, I think I can compare f of x that is numerator. I can compare on left hand side. On the right hand side, the numerator will be b times it is b times x plus 1 whole cube plus uh, next is d into x square into x plus 1 plus e times of x square only. Now if you check here f of x is written as this term here b d e are managing such that we'll get f of x here. So it's given that f of x is a quadratic function that means the degree is 2 on both sides. So if I compare the degree that means on the right hand side we are getting somewhat x cube and x cube from first and second term. So can I say here from your coefficient of x cube on the left hand side, right hand side must be zero because this is what I've written here is an identity in x. So left hand side degree is two, right hand side must be two. So coefficient of x square, x sorry, x cube should be zero. This implies that coefficient of x cube is b plus d on the right hand side and left hand side is zero. So from here I got b is equal to minus d. This is first relation. Now, now I'm going to rewrite the value of f of x as is equal to b into x plus one whole cube. And in place of d, I'm going to write minus b. So minus b times x square into x plus one plus e x square here. Now it's given that initial condition is given that f of zero is equal to, as you can say one. So I'm going to substitute x is equal to zero here. We'll get f of zero is equal to one. And on the right hand side, we'll get this as b times minus zero plus zero. So from here, I can say that b is equal to one. The moment b is equal to one, we get, we'll, we can write the value of d is equal to minus one here. So we got b is equal to one and d is equal to minus one. Again, I'm going to rewrite f of x as, let me erase this left hand side part. Now our f of x will be equal to, from here, I can say that it will be equal to x plus one whole cube. And instead of b here you can put minus 1 here so we'll get this as minus times x square into x plus 1 and then plus e x square now they are asking the value of f dash of 0 so let's calculate f dash of 0 here so first i'm going to calculate the derivative f dash of x 
In the later on, I'm going to substitute x is equal to 0. So we'll get this as 3x plus 1 whole square. Now here I'm going to apply a product rule. So we'll get this as minus 2x into x plus 1 and then minus times x square and then plus 2 times e x here. So here I'm going to calculate f dash of 0. So let's substitute 0. We'll get this as 3 and the next term will be 0. Next term will be 0 and the next term will be 0. So from here I got f dash of x is equal to f dash of 0 is equal to 3 and this will be our final answer and that will be all.